I don't say in this look, I get it. There's a lot of guys right now with YouTube channels, pretty big ones too, calling for gold and silver to explode next year, but explode higher. That you must look at the drivers. Of course, currency is going to be destroyed as we move forward. Further currency destruction as central banks steal, strip purchasing power of their currencies away. You know that. That's what they're going to do, period, the end. But the rigging here, the manipulation that's going on to keep the prices suppressed is going to continue. Understanding that it's, when we are talking about commodities in aggregate, especially gold and silver here, it is the paper derivative that is driving the price action. It's not real. There's no price discovery. Gregory Manorino, a seasoned and widely followed full-time trader, underscores the inevitable erosion of currency purchasing power by central banks over time. He draws attention to the continuous manipulation and rigging of gold and silver prices, particularly orchestrated by the U.S. government, to sustain artificial confidence in the dollar. There's an ongoing problem with price manipulation, and the U.S. government is directing it. The U.S. government and its allies on Wall Street play this dangerous game to engineer artificial confidence in the dollar. In the past, Governments and banks used a trick to lower the prices of gold and silver. They flooded the market with a lot of actual gold and silver. But now, they're still flooding the market. But most of the gold and silver they claim to have doesn't exist. It's like a fake gold and silver show based on contracts written on paper. Looking ahead, Manorino forecasts a continuation of suppressed prices for gold, silver, and commodities in the upcoming year. From a technical standpoint, he acknowledges the complexity of the bullish outlook on gold, pointing out that a substantial amount of positive momentum has already been factored into the market, resulting in a less impressive risk-to-reward ratio. Examining the recent movements in the gold market, gold experienced a 15% increase from the beginning of the year until May, followed by a 13% decline into October. Subsequently, gold rebounded, rising nearly 19% and reaching an all-time high at the start of December. Manorino ties these market dynamics to the rapidly escalating global debt, which he asserts has reached historical levels at an unprecedented pace. Despite the notable increase in gold and silver prices, he argues they have not kept pace with the soaring global debt. Let's delve into key moments from Gregory Manorino's interview with these video clips. One of my calls for next year was for the price of gold and silver and commodities overall to remain suppressed. The, the, the main reason behind this, okay, um, is very simple in my view. It's the fact that this, this environment will remain risk on. Risk on meaning, again, rate suppression drives cash into the stock market. Uh, it also drives cash into real estate. Uh, a, a cash comes from somewhere. And I'm not saying that we're not going to see gains moving forward. I think we're going to see a lot of volatility with regard to gold, silver, and commodities moving forward. I mean, just think about it. Global debt today is skyrocketing at its fastest pace we've ever seen in history. And we're going to see a lot more of that come 2024. Meanwhile, the price of gold and silver, yes, they have come up. Okay. But not on par with what we're witnessing with global debt. And in my view, and I've told you this literally since day one, over 10 years ago, you got to take the opposite side of the trade. If we understand, people, that global debt is going to hyper-balloon from here. It's already in the biggest hyper-bubble in the history of the world, but we haven't seen anything yet. And this is, of course, massively inflationary. What do you want to do? You got to look for assets that are massively suppressed right now because this is going to turn around. So again, look, in case you haven't noticed over the past, I don't know how many freaking years you want to go back. I don't make calls on the price of gold and silver where I think they're going to be because I don't care. I don't care in the shorter run. Um, there are people who just don't understand it. They think, okay, Greg is saying that we should invest. And this is just my opinion. You should always do your own research here. Uh, in hard assets in gold and silver and maybe gain exposure to a broad basket of commodities which I put out I don't say in this look I get it there's a lot of guys right now with YouTube channels pretty big ones too calling for gold and silver to explode next year but explode higher next year but 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 why they, they again that you must look at the drivers of course currency is going to be 
destroyed as we move forward. Further currency destruction as central banks steal, strip the purchasing power of their currencies away. You know that. That's what they're going to do. Period. The end. But the rigging here, the manipulation that's going on to keep the prices suppressed is going to continue. Understanding that it's when we are talking about commodities in aggregate, especially gold and silver here, it is the paper derivative that is driving the price action. It's not real. There's no price discovery. There's no price discovery. But if we know that, that allows you and I to take a, a position here in massively suppressed assets. Let them. How many times have you heard me say, let them play their games, we're going to play our games. We are holding gold and silver, gaining exposure to commodities, for the even cryptocurrencies in my view, for the long run. Manorino delves into a prediction pointing to an imminent and forceful debt bubble burst. Notably, over 80% of the staggering $10 trillion increase in global debt during the first half of the year pushing it to a record $307 trillion originated from developed economies, as the Institute of International Finance reported. Countries such as the United States, Italy, and Britain are raising concerns, especially after facing challenges related to debt limits, with the U.S. coming perilously close to default. Over 20 prominent economists, former policymakers, and major investors have expressed worries about these nations, signaling a potential public finance crisis. Peter Prate, an ECB member during the 2011 debt crisis, emphasizes that many countries are on the brink of such a crisis. Manorino reaffirms the importance of holding assets like gold, silver, and even copper as we anticipate the unfolding meltdown in the debt market. This market shift will divert cash from debt and stock markets into commodities. The prolonged uncertainty around the debt ceiling process has created frustration in the market, impacting sentiment negatively. This frustration could lead to a shift in safe haven flows towards gold, according to Tim Waterer, chief market analyst at KCM Trade, as quoted in a Reuters report. Let's get back to the interview. The debt bubble is going to burst with such ferocity. Again, this is not going to be by accident. This is central banks who are deliberately going out of their way to hyperinflate the debt bubble because they got to bring the current system down so they can have a public outcry on an epic scale, people on their knees begging for help, begging for help from the government, and the government is the central banks. It's astonishing to me how many people still believe in a system that's dead. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. They think that the world is actually run by presidents, kings, queens, monarchs, or dictators. They don't understand that it's central banks who control it all. They control the economy, they control the markets, they control the financial system, and, and they even control the flow of information. That I mean, they are in full control. This has been their goal since their inception. You understand that? People, don't take my word for this. Do your own research on central banking. The real reason why central banks were created it isn't to establish some kind of a free system. It's a system which they control. If they control the economy, if they control our modes of transaction, you remember, you can't transact in anything but a central bank currency, according to Pocahontas. You know what I'm talking about here. You can't be in cryptocurrency because they're used for terrorist uh, funding. They're used for drug funding. Uh, oh, but the dollar, oh no, I guess it's not, as we all know. The U.S. dollar still remains the number one currency funding terrorism and funding drug uh, interactions here, transactions, but you can't know that and she will not tell you that. And there are a lot of other so-called representatives here jumping on the bandwagon with this. Again, they work for the central banks. Anyway, let me get back on track here. You and I are holding gold and silver and even, whoa, copper, okay? Because we understand where this is eventually going to go. Meltdown in the debt market just means cash is going to move out of the debt market, out of the stock market, and into commodities, and into cryptocurrencies, and into artwork, and musical instruments, and classic cards. It's going to go, it's already happening here. Um, you look at the prices that are currently being paid for, let's say, vintage instruments, for um, artwork, and classic cards, out of control. Okay, this mechanism is already playing out, but we haven't seen anything yet, again, when we, as we move forward here. 
Um, anyway, so as I said, look, I, ho I hope you're understanding this because there are so many people who say, Oh, Greg has been wrong about the price of gold and silver. Really? <laughs> when have I put a price target on it? I'm telling you. Eventually, the meltdown of the debt market is going to drive commodities to the moon. Again, risk on will become risk off. Should be very simple to understand. But central banks colluding with our so-called representatives who represent them, we have no representation at all. Okay, they're playing the game. You know all about the game. I wrote a paper on the game. It's thousands and thousands and thousands of years old here. It has created an environment of illusions, okay, where nothing is real. I've been telling you this for how long? Considering the manipulation and artificial confidence in the dollar orchestrated by the U.S. government, what do you believe is the long-term impact on traditional financial markets? As global debt continues to surge at an unprecedented pace, how do you foresee the dynamics between tangible assets like gold, silver, and copper evolving in the coming years? Share your thoughts in the comment section. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel and remember to activate notifications by hitting the bell icon. Your participation means a lot to us. Thank you.